Abby wants a portrait of his big sister, pop sensation, Selena. Selena is a pretty big icon in the Latin uh, music industry, and when Selena died, it was a really big deal, and she was only 23 years old. Well, I'll get something special for you. Cool. Oh, awesome. I'm here to get another Selena tattoo. I kind of get something that's related to Selena every year that marks her anniversary of her passing away. Yeah. Um, where do you want to put her at? On my back. Okay, do you have anything on your back already? Uh, just, uh, yeah, my uh, son's name across the top right here. Okay. Right here. So you, do, you want, do you want to do it about this size then? I didn't know whether to fill up the whole, the whole back or I could do her off, off center. But with this, it's more elongated. So, um... I would say put it on the side of your back, like fill up that whole panel. It's an honor to do it, dude. I'm so, um, it's going to take me about like five, ten minutes to draw it up. So if you want, you guys want to go get something to eat, maybe come back in like a few. AB is back and ready to memorialize his sister who was killed almost 12 years ago. That's probably actually the perfect size where it's going to fill up pretty much this whole half. I need to make a stencil and we'll be ready to rock. You know, normally people come in and they want to get a portrait. It's usually like the, like a bust, you know, from like the neck up. Like in AB's case, we're going to do um, almost a full body of Selena. So it's going to be pretty big. It's going to be on his back. And um, I'm pretty excited about it. Perfect. All right, close. The day that Selena passed away, um, I was at the recording studio waiting for her. And um, she always had a habit of being late. She was always late. And that day, it wasn't any, it was no different than any other day. She was gonna just sing some, actually some demos for me of some songs I'd written. So I was really fortunate to write all her songs. I wrote all her hits for her. Oh, nice. And that day, she never showed up. And we got a phone call at the offices and one of the radio station people called and said, hey, Selena was in an accident. Little did I know, you know what I'm saying? What? was going to happen that day was going to change my life and a lot of people's lives. I come from a really musical family. Like yeah. In our family, we all play several instruments. Yeah. So it's like, I can appreciate good music. I know right. what good music is and I love it. But right. to sit down and write something and be that inspired by something, like, mm -hmm. just, I don't have that. Yeah. So that's why there's people like you and there's people like you. I'll just buy the record. Hey, but you... <laughs> You rock tattoos though, man. Yeah. Come on. I'd love to be a tattoo artist. <laughs> you know, life has to go on and you you, you have to, uh, you know, try to make the best out of it and, and, you know, and keep the beautiful memories of, the, you know, a person like Selena. Keep those memories in your heart and keep them in your mind and, and hold on to that. Oh my God, that came out beautiful, man. That is crazy. You love it? I love it. On an emotional level, today was, was very important to me. Selena was an orgullo mexicano, as we say, a, a, a pride of the American community and of the Mexicans. And it's just awesome that we're, we're still talking about her 12 years later. And uh, I'm not the only person with a Selena tattoo. There's a lot of people out there. And it's not going to be the last one.